So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Bosola from Kurval.com and today's video is very very special because we are going to predict the future. We're actually going to predict my future or the future of my channel, if you would say so. And I don't know if you've seen it, but we're very very close to reach 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Thank you very much for that and we will do a celebration, proper celebration when that happens. The question is when? So when should I prepare the celebration for it? So there are actually a lot of ways to predict uh, the future and I'm going to use two methods. Part one, which is today's video, we're going to do the manual way, something that you would do in Excel for example, and part two I'm going to show you how to predict the future using a machine learning algorithm. We're going to use Azure Machine Learning Studio. I have to let you know that this is my second machine learning algorithm, so it's going to be simple, but I guess it's a good opportunity also if you don't know anything about it, how it works. And I wanted to take the opportunity to actually invite you to a challenge because I want to share the data with you. So you're going to get the same data that I use, I'm going to give it to you. And uh, I'm going to challenge you to also try to predict the future. So can you predict when I will reach 10,000 subscribers? And if you do, or the person that gets the closest, will actually get a present. I, I still don't know what that is, but we will figure out something. And um, it will be super, super fun to, to do it and to see you know, how would you solve that problem? Of course, I don't want you just to guess a date. So I'm going to post a link below where you can actually send me your data. How you, did you calculate the prediction, okay? And the, the person that uh, reaches the um, closest date will win. And uh, just give me your predictions in the comments also. It will be fun to, to follow. So for today's video, we are going to do it manually. And uh, before we actually start doing things in Power BI, there's a few things that you need to know. And this is how YouTube Analytics works. So YouTube Analytics have a few APIs. And there is one API where you can get real-time data. And that API allows you to see how many subscribers a YouTube channel has live. So you can see every second how many subscribers you have. YouTube Analytics, though, and there's an API for that, does not have live data. So YouTube keeps the data secret for two days. And they say they do that because uh, they want to be able to clean up in case you get fake views or fake subscribers or whatever it would be. They want to clean up bots, you, you name it. So YouTube analytics, the historical data is always two days late. Okay, what I'm going to give you is a file for uh, the historical data and then the live count subscribers when I downloaded that file. So you can actually do the predictions yourself. So we will be working with that information instead. Okay, so now that you know that, let's start the challenge. When will Corval reach 10,000? We'll see. <laughs> So here we are in Power BI and what you are seeing here is my YouTube report in Power BI. So this is the report that I use to follow up how, I'm, um, how I am doing on YouTube. And uh, I have just uh, taken out two values. The first one is the subscriber count from the real-time data, as I explained it before. And the other one is uh, how many subscribers I gained the last 30 days. Okay, and this is basically my growth, so how much I'm growing per month. Uh, this is calculated from the historical data for the uh, subscriptions. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to do this um, hard coding. I, I want to create a model that will work for future sub milestones. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a what if scenario. So what you will do, you click on modeling, you go to what if and then new parameter, give it a name, subs milestone, for example, and we want to have a minimum of 10,000 and a maximum of 
a hundred thousand, that would be quite good. And then an increment of five thousand, for example. Click OK. And uh, that will create a slicer. We have it here and it will create a table. And I talk about what if in another video. I will link below and it will pop up on the right if you, in case you want to see it, in case you've never won with what if, because I won't go into detail here, otherwise the video will get too long. So we have our values and then we have here a uh, measure that basically give us the value that has been selected here. So if I leave this at 30,000, these subs milestone value will give us 30,000 basically. So it is like super easy. So now how do we calculate this? Let's do it manually first so you can see how I did it. So we want to reach 10,000 subscribers. And we have uh, 8,827 at the moment. This is our real time. So if I subtract these two, which I get 1,173, this is the numbers of subs that I have left before I reach. Okay, and because I am growing at a pace of 803, if I divided this by 803, it will actually give me how many months I have because this is months or subs by month. And if I multiply it by 30 days, it will give me how many days I have left. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to get my milestone minus my real time subs. And then I have to divide these by my growth and then I have to multiply everything by 30. So now we know the formula, let's do it in real life. So how do we do that? Let's do it. Number of days to get there. It will be the uh, sub milestones value minus the sum of the real time subscriber count. So this is my 8,827. Okay. So that minus that one. And then I have to divide this by my growth, which is the subs on the last 30 days, and then I have to multiply this by 30. And ta -da -bing, ta -da -bong. And don't panic. Th this is because I have the milestone at 30,000. If I change it to uh, 10,000, then we will get the 43 days. How about we round this thing up? So I have 44 days to actually hit my subscriber, the 10,000 subscriber milestone. So which day is it? I think we should calculate it, right? So to do that, then it's uh, quite easy, right? So I have uh, let me show you. So here in the daily subs table, I have the day. Let me see. This is our historical number of subscri subscribers for the channel, right? So I have 2018-04-10. If you remember, I told you that the YouTube analytics gives you two days delay on the data. So what we're going to do first, we're going to calculate the late. I could actually, instead of getting it from there, I could get it from the calendar. 
let me show you uh, date because this should have the latest date which it has it okay so we get the max of the calendar let's do it here so what we need is today's date today's date in the calendar so otherwise you know you will get a out of sync otherwise you could write today's but i really want to have the latest day on the calendar So we have today's date here. So, and what we need to do is these minus the 44 days, or sorry, plus the 44 days to actually know when we will hit. Can you disappear, please? Happens a lot. Bye bye. Okay, good. So we go here to our subs milestone and here we have uh, do, 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 do. day to hit milestone and this is uh, do, 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 do. we have uh, today's date plus 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 days to get there And these will give us when, if I continue growing at 803 subs per month, the 25th of May, I will reach 10,000 subscribers. This is what it says, basically. And then if I move this up and down, so for example, for 100,000 subscribers, I need 3,000 days, is the 2027. I'm dead by now. Oh Lord. Okay. But one thing that I'm not taking into account here, and I need to modify this later on is the actual growth as the channel grows, these subs last 30 days. If you continue doing a good job grows too. So I should calculate actually the growth per year and add to that because it's not at 803 fast, or I could actually have a what if scenario with subs last 30 days and then play with that. Okay. So th that's doable. I'm just assuming that this growth is fast, it's 803 days for the last 30 days too, which normally it's, and then you're done. So my prediction is the 26th of May 2018, I'll reach 10,000 subscribers. There is one more thing though, I think this deserves a title. And the reason for that is because we are changing here and it's quite easy to actually miss what's going on. So we're going to create very quickly a title, dynamic title. So title milestone. And this will be date when I hit. And now we're going to have a format subs milestones value and then we're going to get this excel format in in there and then i have that uh, and then i'm going to do like that put it there So when I move these, it will reflect in here also, right? So it's like super useful. So now we are finally predicting something instead of just reporting backwards, we are actually seeing things in the future. Okay, so the 25th of May, I'll reach 10,000 subscribers. I don't know if that is true or not, but that is what my manual predictions uh, tell me. Again, I'm not counting for perhaps a growth in my growth or, you know, um, decreasing growth, which happens all the time. So it is not like super scientific, 
but the, an improvement to the model could actually be to calculate the growth for the year and to see, okay, this is where I normally grow, or the growth of the month, to see if you're growing more or not. And then based on that, do a new projection. Or you could actually have a what if for the growth also to see, okay, I'm actually growing at a faster rate, so I can adjust that and then I get a new date. Um, so I'm hoping that that's what the machine learning algorithm will compensate for. Perhaps not the first version because it's like super simplified and it requires me to guess the views. Uh, but uh, on future editions, if we will say so. So on Wednesday, you will see the machine learning algorithm. You will see how I created it and what the results are from that. And there is also a site called Social Blade that help uh, people that uh, you know, have a YouTube channel, uh, guess the, how many subscribers they will get, they have like future projections, they say they use a regression model to calculate that. And I will you know, show you the calculations I have get from my model and then we can see the calculations they have, they've been doing this for like a thousand years. So we will have social blade predictions, machine learning predictions, we will have the manual prediction and then hopefully your predictions too, to see when we will hit 10,000 and it will be like super fun to see uh, who is closer to the actual number. So yeah, part two, Wednesday, don't miss it. I'll see you there. Bye.